All right, so this talk uh, is a panel, technically, uh, and so we don't have a presentation behind us, uh, but we will be speaking uh, to our NASA wikis, specifically our International Space Station wiki, which we have recently uh, merged and created. Um, so a little bit of history of our NASA wikis to start. Um, in Mission Control, we have a, a series of wikis, a, a wiki farm, if you will, uh, that were started back in the mid, early 2010s. Um, it was literally a computer under a desk and two guys flying under the radar, creating a wiki, um, as so many of our stories have begun. Um, it started to catch traction within the uh, spacewalk, extravehicular activity, EVA community. Um, and then EVA had this uh, adopted wiki, which they called in-house their library. Eventually, another organization within Mission Control, the maintenance organization, caught wind of this and said, hey, we want a, we want a space station maintenance wiki. So that now the maintenance group has, a, has their own wiki to track maintenance information. Group after group within Mission Control said, hey, that wiki thing's pretty cool. We want our own wiki. And eventually we had something like 12 separate wikis within Mission Control, all tracking space station data. And it makes sense a little bit um, if you consider that, you know, within, a, within the space station we have all these various systems. We have communication systems and electrical systems and spacewalk systems and that if, if you want to go find information on electrical systems, you go to the electrical systems wiki and you learn about electrical systems. The problem is the maintenance wiki will repair those electrical systems. So if you want to find the history on a, an electrical box, like a transformer, do you go to the maintenance wiki or do you go to the electrical wiki? So at some point we identified this issue and, and said, wait, why don't we just have one big wiki for the whole space station and put it all together? So we started asking these questions and identified a few issues that we, that we would come across in doing this. And, and one is that while these wikis have been separate for five, eight years and pages with the same name have completely different content on them. So how do you reconcile that? Two, uh, we don't want to break federal law and we want to make sure that everyone is allowed to see all of the same information. And three, we got to get our management on board with all that stuff. So that first part, the sort of technical merging of the information itself, uh, came in sort of two phases. And phase one was identifying um, the templates and the, uh, the data structures itself that were same name conflicting information. So if we have a, a template about a piece of hardware that both wikis, that one wiki created in 2012, another wiki stole it because it was really good, and now for eight years they're diverging in two directions, how do we bring those back to the same data model and then reconcile all that information? And then part two of that is actually slamming the two wikis together um, into one wiki and, and finally pulling that trigger. You want to add anything to that? Yeah, the templates and forms was definitely a big part of it because as new wikis came on board, they would copy whichever wiki had the best of that type of form um, and that would naturally start to diverge from all the others. Um, you also had the same problem with config management on the server side. You'd have to make sure everything was on the same version. If one wiki wanted a new extension, do you add it to all the other wikis and have them deal with it or do you only add it to this one and start to track that as a separate type of configuration. So we had all these reasons to try to push towards one more wiki where we could keep all that in a centralized location. Uh, for the most part, our access control ended up being the same. As we, keep, we kept poking on that against the export control reps who were saying, okay, we have to really lock this down. Um, we kept pushing and saying, okay, how much can we really open this? Why does it have to be locked down? What specific information has to be locked down? And we really realized that all of these wikis had very similar protections on their data 
And so there was no reason we couldn't put them together. Cool. Um, and s starting to speak on, on the not breaking federal law thing, um, we, we did have to go through and, and generate a giant list of all of the users and then sit down with our export control and, and confidentiality uh, representatives and, and say, who is allowed to see this information? And this was eye-opening not only for us to know who was allowed to see what information, who was allowed to see what information, um, but also to the representatives who discovered that a lot of our information was entirely misclassified. Um, we would have a handbook, and they would say, "Oh, definitely can't, can't, uh, can't, can't release that for everyone to see because it's it's certainly classified information." And then we would find it on Amazon. So we said, that's definitely public domain. We can, we can put that on the merged wiki. Um, and then finally, the, the, the third phase of that was getting our management on board, which was by far the easiest sell, because anything that involves integration and communication uh, between systems, once you get over the legal hurdles, um, is actually a pretty, pretty easy sell for your management. Then it came to the day of pulling the trigger. Pulling the trigger, uh, consisted of making sure that we had eliminated, one, the legality issue, and two, the issue of pages with the same names and different content. We created an in-house extension that we called cross wiki diff, and literally all it did was compare various wikis and list all of those pages uh, that had the same name and different content, and we could come up with no better solution than to go through manually and just parse information together um, and make a lot of enemies in the process. Because here I am, maintenance guy, going into spacewalk territory and slamming our information together. Um, but that also opened communication channels. Because we found a lot of information that some groups thought A equals A, some groups thought A equals B, which one's right? Maybe they're both right, we don't know. But now that we're all on that same wiki, we can have those open discussions. Once our cross wiki diff, we, we'd say equaled zero, that was all pages had the, the same name different, uh, with the same name had the same content. Uh, we then just pulled the trigger one night with a script that slammed all of our databases together. And overnight we had, eh, over a weekend, we had uh, our International Space Station Wiki, um, which is, is what we've been working with since. Uh, we do still have a few stragglers behind us who we're still trying to integrate in, um, but they are smaller wikis and, and they'll be easier groups to tackle. Um, and the big lesson we learned from this is if you are creating a new wiki, we highly, highly encourage you guys to ask the question, who isn't allowed to see this information? And then from there, draw the circle as big as you can for creating that new wiki. Because um, down the line, you might realize that you're gonna have to merge wikis, and then you're gonna spend six months doing that instead of whatever you're actually getting paid to do. Um, so, do y'all have anything to add there? So, yeah, it was a challenge because we were merging three wikis, really three wikis into one wiki. And so we had to deconflict both, like we had the robotics wiki, spacewalk wiki, and the maintenance wiki. So you had to make sure you were combining all the information from all three into one. And what you would run into is that sometimes two would match, sometimes only one would, each one would be separate, and you'd have to combine all three into one. So the cross wiki diff was very useful because you could see quickly at a glance, okay, EVA matches, maintenance, but both of those are different from robotics, so you can m merge robotics into those two, and that's an easy step. Um, it was a challenge for certain templates that were really big and it di diverged a lot, and we're still working through those even after the merge now, because people are, you know, they come back to it and they say, yeah, this really shouldn't be here it's separate, or all my stuff is down at the bottom, we need to move it up, and that type of thing, so it's always a work in progress. Um, but we encourage you to try
try to pull the trigger as early as you can because it's never going to be totally perfect. There's always going to be some kinks to work out. Uh, I just wanted to touch back on what Eric mentioned about drawing the circle as big as you can because what I've been doing recently has been going around different groups in Mission Control to talk them into joining the ISS wiki as opposed to having them create a whole new wiki. And we've also run into people who want to still keep adding to the wiki farm and essentially creating information silos because we can't search between the different wikis and we're still trying to share the data together with each other. So, yeah. Do you have anything else? No. We can open the floor to questions. Yeah. yeah. We got to hand this around. <laughs> yeah, there's only one mic. It's okay. Um, I'm going to look at it from a user perspective because that's where we're at this exact crossroad right now where I have a department that wants their own wiki, not because the other users can't see their content, but they think their content is the special snowflake and that they should have their own pages. So when you were, say the transformer example, so you have two different departments leveraging that same content, did you end up making two pages or are there two separate sections and then whose stuff gets to be on the top of the page and who, I mean, that's what I'm dealing with at this point. So how did you deal with that with your users? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, it usually, it, it kind of depends on uh, how we all work together with the what information we're working with, but from a lot of them, we end up making either sub pages uh, to put everybody's different information that's specific to that group on that information and put the really generic information on the very top page. Or we'll have uh, different sections on the page that we label with headers. And so then when users get to the page, they'll use the table of contents to select whatever they want to get to and it takes them right down to it. Yeah. You want to add anything? Yeah. Honestly, once people start using it, it very naturally people figure out where to put their information and, and there's not a lot of infighting. Yeah, setting it up initially, and then if you're wrong, they'll fix it, so. Yeah, and it, these guys are really good at, you know, just making the call, okay, we have to combine it somehow, so let's just try it and see what works and iterate from there. Um, I will admit that it's been a challenge with organization afterward. Um, it was already a challenge with organization with the sub wikis, and now that you cram everything together, that's something we're still working on, the best way is to make portals or landing pages. Also want to add on, we've also been utilizing uh, discussion pages more to, to, to encourage more conversation whenever we need to deconflict something. So, yeah. So yeah, we've gone through uh, you know similar process before and uh, for us, I think maybe it's a little easier because we have like, you, know, you have different groups, but we have kind of like different defined products, spaces that, that we work through. I'm wondering about discoverability, um, you know, and, and search and, and related issues you have to access. Do you, have, do you guys have anything special that you've gone through in that regard so that you can go through like filtering content? Because you're saying like, you know, portal pages to, to dive down in. But, uh, and, and also I'm just curious like, the you know the the scope of documentation your wikis contain like are you are you like a you know a hundred pages or a hundred users or like thousands of pages or like you know tens of thousands what what kind of scope did you guys have to to cover when you were doing this migration to bring all the content together so our initial the, the scope we had to tackle uh, what was the initial three wikis, which we identified as the three big wikis, which, which were the going to be the hard ones to do. Um, those were roughly 10,000 articles each with about 40 active users on each wiki. Those, that's active users. Um, now, about a year after the merge, we're at almost 40,000 pages with something like 200 active users. Um, as for searching and being able to find relevant information, uh, we didn't know if that was going to be a problem until we pulled the trigger and were very pleasantly surprised to find out um, that it was not at all a problem to find what information you needed and actually significantly easier to find what information you needed um, just because there were more users and more active articles uh, pertaining to what you were looking for. Um, that answer your question? Yeah, so you're just using the default, uh, like any, you're not using any special uh, search or indexing. 
Yeah, so the question was we're, if, if we're using any search, special search indexing or anything, and no, we're, we, oh, we are. I'm getting a nod in the, I'll let you take the mic for that. So we use Elasticsearch for, for our backend. Um, and the numbers were right on the active users on the was around 50, I think, each and is around 200 now. That's contributors, not, not viewers. I don't know what viewers is at the moment, but it's something over 1,000 per month, like unique users per month, over 1,000. But I don't know exactly. Oh yeah, uh, the number of pages we had to manually merge was something like a thousand, and 150 of those I think were templates. Um, I, I heard you just mention how you're increasing the use of talk pages. Is that what I heard? Something about that? Um, so Wikimedia right now is doing a talk page consultation. If you go to MediaWiki.org, it's talk pages consultation 2019. They're looking at how to deal with on wiki discussions and that's something you might want to contribute to. Thank you. Um, just so just a quick observation. Uh, I've gone back and forth between, you know, one big wiki or uh, breaking things out organizationally, a one wiki for each organization. And uh, as I think about it, um, the thing that I would miss if I merged everything into one wiki is the ability to do the watch analytics um, per group, per organization, um, and so I would love if, to be in a future where you know we we do uh, merge the wikis and and you know minimize the number of them, get everybody working out of one big one. But I also would love that world to be uh, a version of watch analytics that has more fine grained control over um, showing uh, what groups are active and where and how. Um, so have you guys given thought as to what insights you're losing when you make this merge in terms of, uh, you know, granularity in watch analytics? Yeah. We have thought about that. Um, that was something that uh, when we combined them all, I agree with you that we now have it just a one big list and watch analytics with everybody on that list whereas we used to have you know a robo list that we could quickly see the you know highest contributing robo for those past few weeks um, we had a uh, wiki wizard and wiki warrior awards for the highest contributors and those were group specific um, we recently combined it to be a iss wiki wide because, and part, part of the reason is because it's hard to distinguish. Um, I would like to develop more filters on watch analytics, be able to sort that. Um, we do have the capability in the wiki now uh, where the users are tagged by their group. So I don't think it would be insurmountable to make that upgrade. I'll walk the mic around. Do you have time? Um, you spoke, you said that there were about 40 active users in the three main wikis that you had been and in the end it was about 200 now in the, uh, in the combined one. Um, this is an absolute number. So what's roughly the coverage of, what's the percentage of users that are actually actively contributing? Of possible readers? 15%? Yeah, one in, one in five users on our wiki tend to be active, is the number I'm getting from the back. Any other questions? One, one. We'll cut it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll Sorry. let you take it. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. There's there's an event. You can you can monopolize them at the event. Okay. So we are running.